Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, haven't given you, give you guys an update in a while. Finally doing some 6 0 work, but not kind of the work I, I'd rather it be making money than spending money. So, basically, had gaskets, of course, right? It's 6 0. Even though it's studded, I forget what the other two, I forget the part number, 240 somethings, whatever they are. But yep. I did all the testing with them, um, did the pressure cap tester, I got the, uh, I got the combustion leak checker, everything, every test I did basically pointed to head gaskets no matter what I did, so, didn't start, didn't really start a video on it, this is day two, uh, I spent a couple hours on it yesterday, got all the, got all the big accessories off. Typical 6 torn apart, right? So I just put all the big stuff in the back of the truck, you know, nothing special. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to pull the turbo apart though. I'm going to clean the unison ring, make sure everything's working properly there. That's another project for a customer. Uh, the, the fuel pump went out on it. So we're going to rebuild the fuel pump on it. Uh, table, just... Flailing it up with the parts. Upgrades. Of course. I'm not taking the part and putting it back together with all the original stuff. No. Went and ordered some uh, stuff from Riff Raff. Got some uh, upgraded banjo bolts. And of course, I got their newest fuel crossover. And you know you're doing it right when you get a sticker and a pen. So that's a win right there. That's a win-win. Uh, along with that, we are going to, I have, you know, good old Senate system, you know, a couple years ago when I bought this coolant filtration system, but wasn't impressed with it. Does it work? Yes, it does work somewhat, but it doesn't work nearly as well as Innovative Performance Research's full flow design. Pretty. So I got that, and then of course, let's see where is it at, hiding here somewhere, under your oil cooler you have the typical, you have this, but it's plastic, plastic with like a nylon mesh, so I went through IPR, came up with this, it's all like stainless steel aluminum with a stainless steel slash aluminum screen, so I no longer have to ever worry about a string being ripped, torn, or blown out. The rest of the accessories that goes with, uh, with that system. And then since I'm going to be taking sending the heads in to get work done, of course, check them, you know, pressure check them, crack check them, make sure they're flat. So I went ahead and just ordered 16 new 6.4 push rods, which is basically the updated push rods for the 6.0. These guys were interested. Flip these around. Kind of the part number on these. Also ordered, just got ordered a set of 16 from right off of IPR's website. Easy one-stop shopping. Uh, ordered from Bless Performance LLC. Uh, Matt Story is uh, the name that's thrown around a lot. Got his uh, head gasket kit with the Ford gaskets, 18 millimeter dowel pins. And his kit also Came with the step down, so if you have 20 millimeter, it's already in the kit. You don't even have to order them second. So I thought that was really cool. They are bagged, are all labeled like one through ten, and there's a spread. There's a basically a spreadsheet, and it tells you what's in every single bag. So nice itemized out list. Good thumbs up on that, because most of the time you just get a box full of stuff, and you're like, all right, where's it all go? If you haven't done this before, it, it's daunting. But yep, that's just a quick update. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. At least getting this side off, and then it's not too late. I'll probably take a break, grab some, eat some lunch, and then I might start on this side. I did pop off the HVAC cover here. It's like a bunch of little metal self-tapper screws that go all the way around it, pain in the butt. But it did give me a whole bunch more space to get in there and get stuff off, versus when it's on, you have like that much space to work. You have to have a whole bunch of special little ratchets and stuff to get things off. 
And so yeah, it's got, got new up pipes last year, but that's about it. And then of course, a uh, fixer six back flush sitting there. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. I'll shoot you guys another update. Probably by then the heads will be off and hopefully sending them out. And then get her back on the road, hopefully within the next week to 10 days or less. Of course, doing this, you know, it's going back into the work week, so that'll reduce my work time on it to about an hour or two a day, maybe. All right, thanks for tuning in.